All right, so we got Melvin. He had two ten dollar bills. She had one five dollar bill, one four dimes, and six pennies. Uh, then it says she brought a fruit cup. I want to know how much money did Melanie have after she bought the fruit cup? So again, they gave you how much she had in her wallet. So you had the uh, you had the two ten dollar bills. So if we start making a little list right here, we can say that two ten dollar bills. You add ten plus ten, you know that is equal to twenty. So we can say those two ten dollar bills. Is 20 bucks. Then we're looking at the five. We only had one five dollar bill, so it's gonna be five bucks. So we'll write that out. You gotta make sure you line up your decimals when you write out money. If you don't line up your decimals, you're gonna add up the wrong place value. So we have one five dollar. Then we got four dimes. Write that out, it's actually going to be the same as writing one tenth, ten cents, and then if we got four of those, we get forty cents or four tenths. Then we got six pennies, which will be six hundred or a hundred, one hundred. So, which when we do that six times, we end up with six hundreds or six cents. Again, notice how I lined up all my decimals. Then I can add those up. So, we add those up. We got the 46 from the change. We bring down the decimal. Or, in this case, you know, we have a decimal. Then we bring down the five and the two. So, we got $25.46. So, but that's the total money we have. We still have not bought our fruit cup. We have to buy our fruit cup. If we're buying our fruit cup, what that means is we will then have to subtract that fruit cup away from our total, which is $25.46. So, you got to make sure you line up your decimal. If you don't line up your decimal, you're going to get the mess. You're gonna mess up your place value. So we're gonna borrow, regroup. We have now because we can't do our six minus nine, so then we have to get that sixteen. So now that's seven. Seven plus nine is sixteen. And we got the three minus one is two. Bring your decimal down. Five minus two is three. And bring our two down. So we're left with twenty-three dollars. H. That's how much money she had left over after she bought a fruit cup. Simple.